The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. 13th chapter, text number 26. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on the 25th of October, 1973, in Bombay, India. Persons in spiritual knowledge tend to worship the Supreme Person upon hearing about Him from others. Because of their tendency to hear from authorities, they also transcend the path of birth and death. So, again, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is stressing on the point how to avoid death. This is the whole scheme of Vedic knowledge. Janma Vittu Jarabhyadi Dukkha Dushanadas. But people have no knowledge. Uh, they have become just like animals. Animals, you take them to the slaughterhouse, they cannot do anything. They are becoming slaughtered. So, people at the present moment, they are also being slaughtered by the laws of nature, but they do not know, and the animals do not know how to protect. The animal thinks that, what can be done? I must be slaughtered. So the present civilization also given to the laws of nature, being carried away by the waves of nature and subjected to the repetition of birth, death, old age, and disease. No scientist can stop it. But still they are very much proud of advancement. They do not know the real problem and how to solve it. But still they are very much proud. Actual problem is this. So even they do not know, they can hear Yes, so we are opening centers all over the world. Why? Just to give them the chance to hear. To hear. If people only come to these centers, these centers of spiritual knowledge, Krishna consciousness movement, here the Bhagavad Gita, as it is, without any so-called scholastic interpretation, all rest of as it is, then they also can derive the benefit so much so that they can also stop their repetition of birth, death, and all this. It is so nice thing. Anne, anne means general public, not very important man. Anne. Anne to evam ajananta. They do not know because they are like animals. What is khetra? Krishna is discussing in this chapter what is khetra, what is khetra ka, what is knowledge, what is knowable, what is prakriti, what is purus. Who is studying all these things? There is no institution, no school, college, university to study this. They have medical college. Khetra means this body. Idam sariram khetra So they have little knowledge about this anatomical, physiological condition of this body, but they do not know the khetra go. Khetra go they do not They may know something. But Krishna says, khetra khetra gayo jnanam jad jnanam tad gnanam matam mama. Unless you know the chetra and chetra ga, both, then your knowledge is imperfect. The medical man, uh, 
are very experienced medical man attending a man on the deathbed, oxygen, gas, injection, everything is supplied, but the man dies, and when he dies, the medical man says, we cannot say what has happened. We have tried our best with the modern medical appliances, but we do not know what is Therefore, their knowledge is imperfect. They cannot say. They do not know that there is the soul, Khetra God, who has now left this body. Therefore, it is nothing but a lump of matter. Then, Purusha Prakriti, Prakriti is this material nature. Purusha, the living entity, the inferior Purusha and the superior Purusha, Anumanta, Upadrashta, the super soul, he is uh, overlooking the activities of the jiva soul, and according to his karma, he is giving a different type of body, khetra. Again, he is working. Again, he is creating another situation. This vast knowledge is unknown to the modern educational department. But here it is in the Bhagavad Gita. They can take advantage of it. But the fools and rascals will not take advantage. They will remain like animals in the ignorance, like cats and dogs. That is their business. So anyway, how to enlighten these cats and dogs? That is described here by Krishna. Anne, anne tu eva ajananta. There are people cats and dogs. I am not speaking cats and dogs. This Astra says, this Astra says, jasyātma buddhi kuna pīti thāpite sadhip kalatra disubhauma ijyadi jatīrtha buddhi sarilena karhiti janeshu avigyesu saiva go khara. Go means cow and khara means ass. Anyone who is in this bodily concept of life. I am this, I am Indian, I am American, I am Brahmin, I am Shudra, I am fat, I am thin, I am white, I am black, I am male, I am female. So many bodily concepts of life. The Shastra says all of them are no better than the cows and the asses. Saiva Bhukhara, the Shantabuddhi. This, this body is a bag made of three dhatu, kapha, pitta, vai, or a bag of flesh and blood and bones. I am not this. Aham Brahman, I am a spirit soul. That is knowledge. But people have no such knowledge. Therefore they are called, according to Shastra, go khala. Go means cow, animal, and khala means ash. Sahiva go khala. So generally people, at least at the modern age, they do not know. They have no information. Big, big professor has several times repeatedly spoken to you that one professor, Kotovsky in Moscow, he says he is a big man of Indology. And he says, Samiji, after this body is annihilated, there is nothing. Everything is finished. This is their knowledge. Go khara. All go khara. We take immediately that here is another go khara. Cow or ass. Although he is posed, posing himself as a big professor of Indology. Go khara. And the Bhagavad Gita also says, Anne, all common men. Oh, one who does not know Ande tu evam ajananta. They do not know what is this body, what is the occupier of the body, what is the purusha, what is the uttama purusha, or the purusha uttama, or what is the field of activities, what is this prakriti, nature, how it is working. They do not know anything. So I want gokhara. So the, for the gokharas, these are two-handed and two hands, two legs, go-kharas, 
for them this Krishna consciousness movement is being pushed on. So that the Gokharas may kindly come and hear Bhagavad Gita and see how the deity is being worshipped, how Krishna is recognized as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. By seeing only, by sitting only, by hearing only, they will come. This is the chance. It is not idol worship, nonsensical. It is worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead, personality. But one has to learn the art and the science about it. Therefore, we are opening all over the world different centers so that these book horrors can take advantage of this thing. Otherwise, why in this old age? What is the use of fighting with Mr. Nan and take this land? Because we are anxious to open centers, people, the Gokhara people may come and take advantage. That is our mission. We don't want that they remain uh, Gokharas and lose the chance of this human body. That is, our mission is very big. The best welfare, other welfare activity is to keep them as Gokhara and promises all sorts of big, big promises. No, we do not say. Our mission is to enlighten him that he is not this body, he is spirit soul, there is super soul, both the soul and the super soul living in this body, the super soul is observing and the uh, living entity is working according to his work, he is getting the results, a different type of body. In this way, repeatedly he is taking birth and repeatedly he is dying. So one has to stop this limitation of birth and death. That is the purpose of birth. That is the purpose. But they do not know how to stop this limitation. They neither they do know the death can be avoided. And the Shastra says, Guru na sashat, sajano na sashat, pita na sashat, in this way. Namo chayaja samupita mrittam. A guru should not become a guru. A father should not become a father, a mother should not become a mother. Nobody should become relatives, kinsmen. If one cannot save his son, his disciple, his friend from the imminent danger of birth and death, the society should be like that. Everyone should be eager to save his friend, to save his son, to save his disciple from the imminent danger of birth and death. But they have no uh, Neither they do know how to stop it, neither they are interested. But that is the real problem. How to stop? Janma mitu jarabhyadi dukkha do sanyasa. So here Krishna said, Annetu abhajananta, abhajananta, sutva, simply by hearing. If you hear from a realized person, of course, interestedly, seriously, then you can get benefit. Sutva. Sutya annebhya upasate. Just like it is very natural. Just like these children, they do not understand. Or the children's father, anyone, they do not understand. But if they come here and simply hear, they still land there also chanting Hare Krishna, offering obeisances, uh, they are offering a lamp, they are playing some instrument. All these things will never go in vain. It is being accounted. This is called Agyata Sukriti. By doing this, doing this, doing this repeatedly, one day becomes a great devotee. It doesn't require studying. Uh, all the Vedic literature, simply if one is accustomed to this practice of devotion and service and hears the vibration, Hare Krishna mantra, simply by hearing, it is said, sutta anne bha upasate, these are upasana. You know or do not know when you offer an obeisance to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, it is immediately taken to your credit. Oh, this living entity has now 
offered some respect. Immediately. It is so nice. And then by hearing, hearing, therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was discussing with Ramananda Ra about this process of advancing in the spiritual life, so Ramananda Ra first proposed Barnasam Dharma, Barnasam Charvata Purushena Parapuma, Vishnu Aradhate Pumsha, Nanna Tattu Sukar. The Barnasam system, Vedic system, that is the beginning of human life. Those who are not in the jurisdiction of Varna and Asram, four Varnas, Brahman, Chhatri, Vaishya, Shudra, and four Asram, Brahmachari, Grihastha, Pana, one who does not follow this principle, they are not considered as human beings. They are animals. Go for it. So real human life begins accepting these principles of Varna Asram. So Ramananda Rai proposed that actual human life, because human life is meant for realization of God. That is the only necessity, not to increase a type of civilization, how instead of eating simple things, how we can eat bee. That is not advancement of civilization. That is animalism. Ahara nidra vaya vaya samanna metat pasu. What is that advancement? If flesh is eaten by tigers, dogs. So if you have learned how to eat flesh, does it mean that you have advanced in civilization? It is the business of tigers and dogs. The dog civilization. So they are interested in advancing dog civilization, cat civilization, tiger civilization. Not human civilization. Human civilization is varnasma charvata purusena parapuma. Vishnu Aradhati Pumsa, Nanat Tattu Sukar, Nati Vidu Sartha Gati Vishnu. The human civilization is how to advance to and understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu. Nati Vidu. These rascals they do not know. Durasaya Je Bahiratthamanima. These rascals are interested to adjust things materially. That's all. Durasaya. It is called Durasaya, which hope will never be fulfilled. That's why it is called Durasaya. The Bohiratthamanena, external and external. Andhajatha andhairupa niyamana stepiso tantra urudhami baddha. Andha, blind leaders, they are leading other blind men. They do not know. They are under the stringent laws of material nature, what their program will make will be. Just like, see, so many plants are being made, but the result is rice is selling at six rupees kilo. This is the result. The poor man, they are making so many plants, increasing parts, uh, material comfort, but the poor man is still poor man. As I several times told, fifty years ago when I came to Bombay, I saw there are persons care of Putva, still there are under care of Putva. So you cannot improve in that way. But you can improve the position of the living entities by giving them this knowledge, this uh, Krishna consciousness knowledge. What I am, what is this material world or this? Nature, why I am suffering. The Bhagavad says therefore, Tashaiva heta prajateta kovida nanabhati jad bhamatam uparajata. You had many, many lives. Bhavnam janmanamanti. You had many species of life. But what you could not get in those lives, you can get it now. Dullabham manasam janma tadavi orthodam. In this human phenomenal life, you can make the solution of the problems of this Janma Mitra Jarabhadi. Rabbi Krishna says, Tepi. Tepi means those who are sincere and seriously hearing about this Krishna consciousness message. Tepi. Simply by sitting down. You haven't got to study Sanskrit. To become, by becoming a Sanskrit scholar, 
that, that is good, but it is not necessary also. Simply you have to hear the message. Tepi cha oti taranti transcend. Cha, they also. Simply by hearing. So as I told you, Ramananda Raya, the discussion between Ramananda Raya and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ramananda Raya proposed different steps of spiritual advancement. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, yes, this is good, but this is external. It is not very effective. Even Sarvadharmaan Paritraja Mahamekana Saranam Bhaja. That also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, it is also not effective. It is not effective for these book horrors. Uh, otherwise it is effective. But in the beginning they cannot. Now otherwise in the Bhagavad Gita it is plainly said, Sarvadharman Puritta Jamavekam, who is taking it? Nobody is taking it. Therefore it is not effective for the book horrors. It is effective for one who is actually human being. But they are not human being. They are all last case, go horrors. Therefore it is not effective. If you, if you, if you uh, instruct a dog, my dear dog, please surrender to Krishna. Will he do that? So similarly, human being who does not surrender, he is no better than the dog. What is the difference between dog and this human being? Go for all. The cats, the dogs, they cannot do it. And if you human being, they cannot do also. Then what is the difference? Ahara nidra bhaya maitamancha samanna maitat prasmi narana. Simply eating, sleeping, sex life and defending. These are common things of the cats and dogs and the human being. The human being is specially benefited when he surrenders to Krishna. Otherwise, he is cat and dog. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew that these cats and dogs, they are so degraded, they cannot understand. What is the meaning of surrendering to Krishna? They cannot run. That will say, Iho Bancha Age Kaho. This is external. Please speak more, something effective. So when Ramananda Raya said, Gyane Prayasam Mudupasa Namanta, this is a, a statement given by Brahma. Gyane Prayasam Mudupasa Namanta Eva. Sanamukhritana Bharta, Bhavadiya Bharta. Sthāne sthita śrīti gatāṁ tanuvānamano vi je prāyaso ajito vi jita paśi stai sthi lakhya. When he proposed this verse, Chaitanya Mahārāja, yes, this is nice. This is nice. What is that meaning? Na gyane prāyasa mudu paśi. Because you are no better than animal. So what is the value of your speculative knowledge? Gyane prāyasa. Don't endeavor in this speculative way. Jnana prayasam udapasam. Give it up. Namantaira. Just become namra. Humble. Humble and me. Lord Jesus Christ also says, the kingdom of God is for the humble and me. So namantaira sarmukharitana bhavadiyavarta. Just try to hear the message of God from realized soul. Simply here. Then, sthāne sthita, you remain in your position. It doesn't matter what you are. You remain in a sthāne sthita śrūti gata Kindly give oral reception to the words, authoritative words, Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, like that. Then, God is called ajito. Nobody can conquer. Krishna is another name is for Jito. He becomes Jito, conquer, simply by hearing from him. Sāne sthita śrīti gatāṁ tanuvāṁ mano bhi. There are many such verses in Bhagavat also. Sinnatāṁ śrīta kṛṣṇa punna sarvana kītana riddham tasya avadrāṇi vidhūnati śrīt satāṁ. When you begin to hear about Krishna, Sinnata, Sakata, Krishna. So Krishna is within your heart. He immediately becomes alert. Oh, this this man, this human being is now hearing. Sinnata, Pulna Sivana If you simply hear, if you do not understand, 
what he is being spoken as like the children. They do not understand anything. But they are hearing. They are sitting. They are hearing. Or some omen. They do not understand. I am speaking in English. But because they are hearing, it is Purna Sravanakita. They are acquiring piety. Academy. This is called Agnyata Sukriti. Piety acquired without knowledge. Agnyata Sukriti. Purna Sravanakita. Sinnatham Sabada Krishna Purna Sravanakita. Sravanakita. One is hearing and one is chanting. Both of them becoming pious. Purna Sravanakita. Riddhan Tastav. And the more you become pious in this way, the only dirty things within your heart will be clean. Therefore Krishna here says, Sepi cha atitaranti eva mrittum. He can also conquer over mrittu. What to conquer over mrittu? He can conquer over ajito, who is never conquered by anyone. Ajito bi, jito pasi. So these things are there. We should take advantage of the as hastras, basic knowledge. It is India's property. Everything was cultivated in India. But because Andhadatam Dhirupaniya Mana, our rascal leaders, they are leading these Andhas. They are not interested. They are not interested. They are now interested how to eat beef and drink wine. Very horrible condition of India. Those who are responsible persons. They should take note of it and try to spread Krishna consciousness movement as far as possible. That will be beneficial for all the people in general and the preachers. This is our moment.